After more than 30 years, a serial murder cold case with St. Louis ties appears to have been solved. Gary Muhlberg is already serving a life sentence for murder back in 1993. As Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins shows you today, prosecutors say the man has now confessed to killing multiple women in the 90s. Today, prosecutors announced four new murder charges against 73-year-old Gary Muhlberg. The victim's family say that today justice was served. It's a decades old unsolved cold case. Police say 73 year old Gary Muhlberg is behind at least five St. Louis murders that happened more than 30 years ago. Uh, today is, is a culmination of uh, many, many years uh, of, uh, first of all, heartache for the victims, uh, families of the victims, I should say. Uh, we're going on over 30 years. Uh, that these murders have been unsolved. Gary Muhlberg is currently in prison for the February 1993 murder of Kenneth Matchison. He's sentenced in 1995 to life in prison without parole. On Monday, prosecutors charged him with the deaths of Robin Mahan, Brenda Pruitt, Donna Ridmary, and Sandy Little. These particular cases were quite gruesome and heinous. And uh, even 30 years later, I think it was extremely important for us to stand forward and to show that we could provide some answers for these families. A police say that the women disappeared in 1990 and 1991 along the Southside Stroll, a part of Cherokee Street known for prostitution and drug dealing. They were found murdered in St. Charles, St. Louis, and Lincoln counties. The St. Charles County Police Crime Lab linked Gary Muhlberg to at least one of the murders by matching the DNA to samples in the FBI's DNA database. Police say Mueller confessed to killing the five victims. The way he disposed of these vi of his victims, according to that information, connected these two and other murders. The victim's family members say justice has been served. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It has totally traumatized me. I have to forgive him. That be, might be very strange to some people, but um, I pray for him and may God have mercy on his soul. Well, prosecutors say this is an ongoing investigation and there possibly could be other victims. Reporting in Clayton, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.